Yahweh, we thank you for this wonderful day. I thank you, Father, for the privilege to speak to the brethren in the Philippines. And we just um, just thank you, Father, so much for your the body of Christ and this wonderful day that you have created for all of us in Yeshua's name. So, brethren, to Pastor Remedis and the elders and the leaders of Praises of God in the Philippines, uh, today being your anniversary and a very special day, we'd like to send you our love, our blessings and our greetings to you. Uh, we apologise we could not be there, uh, but we do hope to be and see you all in December sometime. But uh, this is uh, your day, your anniversary uh, of, of the birth of this congregation, and we just want to uh, thank you for everything um, that you're doing for the body of Christ and your love for one another. Uh, we, we just want to honour you today and to bless you, um, to send you our love and regards to each, every one of you, um, especially to the leadership of, of the uh, congregation, and, and we just uh, humbly bless you today. I want to be able to share with you just briefly some things of the significance of this day um, in the life of, of uh, your congregation, but also in the life of the body of Christ and worldwide history. Uh, today is the uh, 29th day of Elul on the Hebrew calendar, uh, which uh, brings in the end of, of the Shemitah, uh, which will bring in some type of economic collapse or natural collapse or uh, but definitely it's bringing in the judgment of Yahweh on something. We just don't know what it is yet. Uh, it's going to bring some type of shaking. Uh, it's a very significant Shemitah. Uh, we had the Shemitah in 2001 when the towers come down. We had the Shemitah in 2008 with economic collapse in the United States. Now, this is the third Shemitah. So this is 21 years. And also, it's also the um, um, seventh Shemitah as well. Very important. Um, because on the 28th of uh, September uh, is, is the Feast of Tabernacles, but it also ushers in uh, the Jubilee year. So it's very, very important. So also on your anniversary, beloved uh, saints of, of Yahweh, um, not only is it the 29th day of Elul, it's the end of the year 5775 on the Hebrew calendar. It's the beginning of 557, 5776. Um, it's, it's the time of, uh, it's the first day of Tishrei. It's the beginning of the Feast of Trumpets or Yom Teruah. Um, it's a partial solar eclipse. It's, it's uh, what they're saying, it's the beginning of um, Anno Lucis, uh, the year of Satan's light, which we don't celebrate, but a lot of people are. Um, and these are all significant days in world history that you, you, we will probably never see again in our lifetime. Um, so it's very significant, and I, I do believe that um, there's some type of blessing also for you guys there because your anniversary is following on the same day, so there's some type of blessing. There's also a time of national repentance, corporate repentance, individual repentance, um, because the judgment of God, the gavel, is going to come down um, at, uh, tomorrow, um, Sunday the 13th of September, and between uh, the sunset of the 13th of September and sunset of the 14th of September. Now it's interesting that on Monday the 14th of September, which is the beginning of 5776, uh, there are uh, uh, people out there celebrating um, Anno Lucis, which is the year of Satan and his light. Okay, so which happens to be, by the way, God's holy high Sabbath day. So, you know, um, it's interesting how they pick these dates to do their evil and what they're planning worldwide for for the body of Christ and for humanity um, in general. So it's very, very important to understand the significance of the dates and times and seasons according to what Yahweh told us in Genesis 1.14. And also, in case you don't know, on the 31st of July there was a blue moon, which is two moons in a month, and the last one's a blue moon. And that day, but the news didn't tell us this, NASA didn't tell us this, you never heard about it on the news, but you can find it uh, confirmed by the Iranian press. There was a meteorite hit Iran in many, many places, and, and, and some people say there's a lot of devastation, but nobody's telling anybody any, anything. Everyone's very silent. Now, if you look at the 31st of July and September 13, they're mirrored back to front, one and three. Also, there's 44 days between July 31 and September 30, uh, 13. 14, uh, 44, is an, uh, prophetically speaking, is, is uh, with the blue moon, is the number of betrayal. 
Okay, so the, the word blue comes from an old English word, bluey, okay, which means to betray. Now, taking in account of what's happening in the United States with President Obama and Israel, and then you draw your own conclusions. But this is a very, very significant day um, in history, in the history of your congregation, in the history of the Philippines and any other nation, including our own, uh, and in world history and, and the history of the body of Christ. Very significant day. So we want to bless you today. Um, thank, uh, thank Yahweh for every one of you in your lives and just leave you with a, with a benediction from the book of Hebrews and also to, to, to um, encourage you um, to walk very closely to Yahweh, to look at your relationship with him and to, 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 to walk in purity and holiness as much as possible as you can and um, to live in righteousness and, and to be righteous before him. Because um, look, at, look up because your redemption is drawing nigh. So Hebrews chapter 13, starting from verse 20. So Father, I just declare and decree your word over that congregation. Uh, praises of God in the Philippines over Pastor Amidas uh, and the leadership of that, that the church and the saints. Um, from the youngest to the children up to the adults, Father. Now may the God of peace who brought up our Lord Jesus from the dead. That great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of the everlasting covenant make you complete in every good work to do his will, working in you what is well-pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, in whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. So we love you, we bless you, and we thank God for you, and we're praying for you all, especially today we'll be praying for you. Okay, and God bless you all, and shalom.